Hey guys and welcome back to Alternative Inverts. So today we're going to be rehousing a stunning arboreal tarantula. This is a new world tarantula. Uh, this is more of a, an intermediate species I would say. Um, so I wouldn't say that they're the best arboreal for a beginner um, like your uh, avicularia or avicularia or your carabina versicolor. These are more of an intermediate, so they are between the transition of a new world and an old world. Um, they're basically like a new world arboreal that displays some of the traits um, that you may tend to see with an old world arboreal species. So obviously, a lot of you may have guessed this is the Salmopaeus amernia that we are going to be rehousing today. We're going to be taking a look at the amernia, we're going to be taking a look at the husbandry and care for the Salmopaeus amernia and also we're going to be taking a look at where they're from um, and their type of environment that you may find them in in the wild. Now the common name for the uh, Salmopaeus amernia is the Venezuelan sun tiger. Uh, Venezuelan? Venezuelan? however it's pronounced, Venezuelan sun tiger uh, and they're endemic to uh, Venezuela, uh, Guyana and also uh, Brazil. So let's take a quick look at how we've got the Amernia set up now. It has been in this in, uh, little tub since it was a sling um, but now it's at that size where it does need rehousing so we're going to be rehousing it into one of these glass arboreal tanks that we have. So let's take a quick look and I'll give you some more information guys. So before we take a look at that, sorry, I want to give a massive shout out to Scotland. Two great things have come from Scotland. One of those is the film Braveheart with William Wallace, that awesome film. And second is Iron Brew. Now this Iron Brew is going to get me through this video, so let's give it a satisfying tss. Oh. Yeah, that is a can of pop of the gods. <coughs> Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the enclosure that we've currently got the Amernia set up in. Um, now, for some of my, most of my small uh, arboreals, I will always set them up in something like this. I'll give them a few inches of substrate so they can burrow at the bottom of the cork bark, but we'll also give them uh, a big piece of cork bark inside as well for them to come out and sit on the bark um, as they would in the wild, or they can go down into the tube. So let's quickly take a look and I'll get you some close up footage of this beauty. This is how we have it set up. Obviously, she has knocked a water dish over. She does a bit of webbing, she's mainly webbed around the edge of the tub and you can just see her down there. Now, I was going to rehouse her from her last malt because she was quite big, however I never got round to it so I left her in here for one more malt. And there you go. So you can see this stunning tarantula, look how bright um, how much the orange on her legs contrasts against the black on her uh, the legs and her carapace. Ooh, she wanted the tongues, and there she is in all of her glory. She is absolutely beautiful. And look how like sort of uh, dominant the colours are on her, on her abdomen as well. They're clearly set off across from the black. It's absolutely beautiful contrasting colours on this spider. We'll try to get her into a catch cup and we will get a new enclosure set up for her. Yeah, it's feeling different now. Feel like I'm zoned out, put my phone down, damn it's cold out Plotting on a rollout, we took our own route, really on our own now These them winter schemes, plotting for better dreams Cooking flows and melodies for OGs with felonies Who have been locked since the 70s You gotta pray for enemies with jealousy They only feed off the good hearted, just don't bargain Stay in your lane and keep hogging Know that you a target and gotta finish what you started Life of being an artist, gotta show them where your heart is Put your all in, keep calling, keep going, don't stall it Don't fall for what they all been wishing now Just be yourself, 
I wonder, is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked the pieces from my childhood in a broken house. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds. And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. Yeah, living in doubt could be the death for you. It's only a few that are rep for you, and rarely ones that are steps to you and let you know where you wrong at instead of letting you ride away in your soul. Rather be whole and pure in my spirit. This life never ending until you near it. A lot of shit to bear with. Sometimes you don't want to share it, but don't keep it in because you fear it. It's an epidemic sound, and you can see right where I'm headed. I'm elevated, oh yeah. We was waiting, oh yeah. To make a statement, it's clear The way them boys persevere Yo, we taking the stairs Don't let them get in our air They go watch, I'ma stare Tell them Okay, so This is the enclosure that we're going to be setting uh, The female sun tiger up in This is one of our tropical factory enclosures uh, A boreal enclosure is the same as what we've got uh, A lot of our other spiders in as well uh, Our boreals one thing to take into cons one thing to take into consideration when setting up the enclosure is obviously where they're from. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, they're found around the borders of Venezuela, Guana, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Brazil. So I will include like a little world map of where they can be located, and you'll see it just sort of um, edited in on the diagram. So that should be up here somewhere, and that's where they can be located. When setting up the enclosure, you do want to take this into consideration. So this will sort of tell you um, what type of environment they need to be kept in. Now, within this region, obviously from doing from doing some breeding, and this is a species that I do want to breed in the future, you also may want to look at um, like their weather conditions, the temperature conditions throughout the year. Now, these are from a tropical area, so around eight or nine months of the year that do have uh, quite a lot of rainfall so that's something that you might want to take into consideration as well if you are looking to breed and I think the rainfall was from is from May through to December and then their drier months are um, January February March uh, April's obviously in between you'll have a little bit of dry a little bit of rainy but the main dry season is January February March and the mainly the wet seasons are from May through to December. So that being said, let's quickly get the enclosure set up to its um, specific requirements and I'll give you a little bit more information shortly. Give it a good mist down again to mirror the rainfall. We've gave it some of the moss. I managed to find some uh, other little bits of cork back decoration. Water dish. Uh, we're using Westland topsoil, and also we've gave it this big piece of cork bark, which is one big entrance that splits off into two. You've got a tunnel coming off down here where it can burrow down, and also a tunnel coming down here where again it can burrow down into the substrate if it really wants to. Get this girl in the enclosure so these guys are from the avicularian family uh, subfamily the same as what you'd have your avic avic or your caribbean versicola they are from the same subfamily uh, they are new world arboreal species um, even though they are new world they do not possess the urticating hairs on their legs or abdomen so they are like you sort of fine cross between your new world and your old world species. Uh, they can be quite skittish, so they will tend to flee rather than um, be defensive and strike. 
however they can bolt quite quickly uh, similar to some of your old worlds. Temperature wise we keep ours at around well, the warmer end of our room so between 26 to 28 degrees during the day um, and about 20 to 22 of a night. A growth rate they're quite fast growers they can get um, to a leg span of around around 14 15 centimeters leg span um, and the body so the body spans around <laughs> around six um, but yeah they are an absolutely stunning stunning spider again keep them misted down nicely like we have in here so they are on damp substrate for most of the year um, if you are looking to breed this spider um, check out some breeding reports you can look at websites like um, Arachno boards um, or you can look at obviously the weather conditions for their local in their natural environment um, and try and mirror those seasons with the rainfall and the dry seasons as well when preparing for your breeding I think once you have paired up um, it's roughly around two to it can be anywhere between around two to two to five months before they may drop an egg sack um, I think they are quite quick to drop an egg sack really providing you've got your um, set up and your husbandry down and you've got the right temperatures and things like that they can be quite trick to drop uh, quick to drop they are also quite well known for double clutching um, which means that they'll basically once they've dropped an egg sack you might notice that they won't molt out afterwards and then a couple of months later they may drop another egg sack but there she is we've just given her a little bit of a nudge she's now going to go and find her new home let's see if this girl will take a dubia roach they don't always eat just after they've been rehoused um, just because of the stress of moving So there you have it guys, that is the Salma Persimernia or the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Um, I hope you've learned uh, something about this species or um, this helps some of you feel comfortable in taking that step um, to some of you more intermediate uh, arboreal or intermediate spiders in general. Um, basically in a nutshell, just to give you an overview of everything we've said, they're a new world species, they have no urticating hair, they are quite skittish rather than defensive and give you a threat pose or a strike, they will predominantly just run away. Go to around 14 centimetre leg span, around 5 or 6 centimetre body span. They are from Venezuela, Guana or Brazil. Uh, in that border from the diagram, I'll chuck it up again. Um, keep them damp substrate uh, if you are looking to breed this species I have done a little bit of research ready for when I want to breed mine because I've got around four females um, and I've got a male as well uh, so I will be breeding them in the future so I've done that little bit of research either look for breeding reports on arachno boards um, contact somebody else that you know that's bred this species or if you want to drop me a message and I'll help any way I can as well um, I hope you enjoyed guys, they are an absolutely beautiful spider, I do love my Asian arboreals um, but for a new world this is definitely one of my favourite uh, spiders out there so I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you have any questions or comments from any of the uh, information that I've gave in this video please drop them below in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and if you would also like to check out our membership program by hitting that join button below and see what tiers we have available to support the channel further. Hope you look after yourselves guys and I'll see you again soon. Peace out.
bye bye.